Well, we are going to be seeing the end of this week. Fall officially arrived coming at 2:49 in the morning on Saturday, September 23rd. Definitely kind of get that feel of the fall air already for us here stepping out the door this afternoon as we've got temperatures upper 60s and low 70s. Now we do hold on to a lot of cloud cover. The rain has now moved away and you can see that drier air moving in from the north and west will start to break up at least some of this cloud cover and get some peaks of sunshine in here over the next hour or two west of Highway 17. It'll take a little bit longer before we finally get that away from the coast. There's that live look Moorhead City looking west across Bogue Sound. Don't worry though, eventually as we head on in through this afternoon, we will see that sunshine return for us here. A little bit of sunshine in Windsor, we're up to 75, holding at 73 in Jacksonville, where again, we are looking at a little bit more of that drier air working in around the edges here, but deeper inland spots like Washington, we're coming at 68, New Bern 69, and actually a few degrees colder by about uh, 10 to 15 degrees colder than where we were this time yesterday. Dew points, that's how we measure the moisture in the atmosphere, starting to fall back through the 60s, and as a result, we'll get overnight tonight, we'll see there's dew points in the 50s. And that's where those temperatures will bottom out at uh, highs today, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Again, clouds and developing to sunshine from northwest to southeast. Uh, there are some of those temperatures overnight tonight, talking about mid 50s for inland spots and low to mid 60s along the coast. All this is because of a wave of low pressure that has developed uh, along the coast yesterday, came up through South Carolina, now moving northbound to the northern mid Atlantic and a big hot, sprawling high pressure coming down out of Canada, driving that drier and cooler air in here. This though becomes a problem because not only does it kind of hang in the northern part of the mid Atlantic states, it allows that front to stall out down here across central Florida. This time of the year when you take a big cool high pressure across the northern mid Atlantic and a stalled front out here in the Bahamas and the Caribbean, that can lead to some issues, whether it's tropical or non tropical. We do expect to see at least an area of low pressure develop here and then gradually drift northbound as we progress on through Thursday and especially Friday into Saturday. That'll be in our neighborhood. Now, again, whether it's named or not, we'll wait and see as far as that is concerned, but at least expect the deteriorating conditions in here, especially later Friday east of Highway 17. Saturday, a cold, raw, windy day with showers and maybe even some thunderstorms around for the official first day of fall. Still hold on to some scattered storms, but not quite as widespread on Sunday. And you'll notice those temperatures staying at or below normal for the majority of the next seven days.